Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new segment. Um, this is going to be Thursdays with Thambrius, and it's basically going to take the place of Thambrius Presents videos, for the most part, where it's more just me playing a game and not really talking about the game, but just talking. Um, so today, for the first video, um, I mentioned a little bit in one of my previous videos that I was going to be doing great games and terrible games. This is one of the terrible ones. This is Adam's Venture 1, The Search for the Lost Garden. I actually have all of the Adam Venture games. Um, I got them during the summer Steam sale, and it was like five bucks, I think, for all of them. So, I mean, it's an interesting game, as we'll find out. Um, the best way to describe this game is a Christian kids version February the 12th, of Uncharted. During excavations at an old church in Luz, France, we found a strange scroll containing ancient writing and typical Templar symbolism. Today I, Adam Venture, discovered what these inscriptions mean. It's incredible. I think the scroll pinpoints the exact location of the four rivers from the book of Genesis, the Pishon, Gihon, Tigris, and Euphrates. March the 24th, 1928. Thanks to the funding of the Clairvaux Corporation and the skills of Professor Jacques Saint-Omer, we found the gates of Eden at the source of the four rivers. Who knows what lies beyond? I just can't believe it. After more than four years of searching, we're putting up base camp at the foot of the gates. Evelyn is also really excited, and quite frankly, even the dog seems impatient. Can't wait to start digging. So yeah, um, I there's really no words for this. Uh, I don't know who they're aiming for. I know, like this is what this comes across as is a game that parents, especially like really religious parents, would love to buy for their kids because their kids ask for Uncharted, and mom goes, "Hey, how about this? It's just the same, but it's it's not. It's really not." Um, we play as Adam Venture. Adventure, huh? Uh, uh. I am using the um, Xbox controller. Look at all of these supplies. The Clairvaux Corporation sure means business. Ah, oh, I can't even go around the sign. Lame. <laughs> and of course, he duck walks. I'm trying to remember what run is. There we go. Run. Wow, those <gasps> gates are enormous. I wonder what the doormat looks oh. like. <laughs> this is one of my big problems with games. With games like this where you have to push forward to get onto the ladder, but then you have to switch to down. Um, I know a couple games that just, you know, you, as long as you continue holding the button, you'll continue going in the direction even if the camera changes. Hi, Adam. Did you bring down the rest of our supplies? Well, uh, I brought my cap and this torch. What more can we possibly need? How about those crates with food that were at the back of the plane? Food? Hmm. I thought that was your makeup kit. <sighs> anyway, the plane had to leave. There's a big sandstorm coming our way. I... No worries. The pilot promised he'll be back as soon as possible. So, it's like they what tried. Are we supposed to eat until then. Well, we've got one crate of apples. It's just that last time a woman ate an apple around here, things got kind of ugly. Remember? Very funny. Now, take this radio oh, and go and see the professor. He needs your help with something. A strange device in front of a huge gate. A huge closed gate. Nah, I don't see the connection. It's it's. It's like there's a peanut gallery. Building a puzzle on your doorstep. It's almost. It's like they included the guy in the, um, at the movie theater, who yells, "Not don't go in there." Uh, 
Like, I know, like, some of my favorite games have characters like oh, this, Adam, where it's... There you are! Um, I have carefully studied the puzzle device uh, that seems to control the gates. And I believe some of its essential parts are missing. Can't some of my favorite games have in. those witty, sarcastic Do characters. Do you have any idea how much those gates are worth? To science, I mean. However, there might just be another way in. These rocks seem to block some sort of tunnel. Well, unless there's some scientific reason not to blast our way through, I'll go and find some explosives. It's also really terrible with the audio, like, it'll switch really sharply. There's no fading from, like, left speaker, right speaker. Which isn't a real big deal, because you probably won't be using it unless you notice it, rather. Unless you have headphones on, like I do. Go and see the professor. I already he needs your help with something. So we have to do this. And I actually got this on my first try. Um, as you can see, the images on the side tell you what pers or how much goes through or how much you need. And then the images, the things on the dials tell you how much we'll get through. So we need to get 25. So if we do we can't change all of these, we can only change the top row. So half of 100 is 50, half of 50 is 25, beautiful. Um, half of, let's see, we need 120. So do this, I think. I don't know. That right. Apparently not. Well, that didn't work. Because yeah. that's half of forty is twenty, and quarter of twenty is so. I didn't even look at the. If they're all middle. <sighs> really. Unless it's a quarter. No way. Okay, this has to be it. This has to be it. There we go. So now we have TNT. So that's all you do to need to do to make TNT. I wonder, can I go in here? More supply crates to unpack? Makes me feel like Christmas. Can I look at any of this stuff? I can't. Ugh. I just wish that I could, like, especially for a game like this, I want to interact with stuff a lot more. Like, I want non-quest things that I can interact with. That took you long enough. Now hurry up and blast those rocks. I need fire. <sighs> and of course we can't just use that toward fire up there. Or even this one, which is quite obviously, you know, you're able to light from it. We have to go here. Just what I was looking for. And for some reason, there is no. I'm just gonna let it kill me. It won't. That's that beauty. dynamite in your left pocket? Stop messing around and blow up those rocks. I just did. Interesting. But um Just get on with it. Wow, you're kind of a dick. Adam, do you hear me? Over. Loud and clear. I just fell down a slope, but isn't her name Evelyn? Is her name Evelyn? Pride. Have you found the gardens? Should we follow? I don't think so. Unless they And I've died on the, this was I'll the only spot in the game where I died over Be and over careful. again. Because I just wasn't doing it properly. And then I did get angry and upset and just start running through it and killing myself over and over again. Nothing to me. 
I can't go over here. Oh. And that's another thing, like, it, this is, you know, nat, it's native Crouching support. Great and yet, sense of adventure. Incredible everything, on my back. nothing changes. Like, that's one of my big pet peeves for games that offer controller support. And look at this. I'm pushing forward. <sighs> it's such a pet peeve of mine. Oh yeah. Are you alright? What's happening? Uncharted never had any dangers like this. Nothing to worry about. Evelyn? It is Evelyn. So that's right. They're Adam and Eve. Probably just the radio. I didn't hear anything. Call as soon as you've found something, okay? I've okay. put about a little over an hour into this game, and it's ridiculous. Like, I've... I don't know how close I am to beating it. I've gotten 24% of the achievements, so I think I'm about a quarter of the way. Which would make sense. Like... It doesn't seem like it's a long game at all. And I can't even jump in the hole. And the thing I love about like this game and any other any other ex adventure, like archaeology, hidden treasure, anything like that. How many times do you hear somebody say, this might not be a good idea? Like, not just the whole, like, we're gonna go desecrate some tombs and all, but the actual, like, hey, uh, I hate that directional thing. Um, hey, maybe we shouldn't, you know, push this random button that could do god knows what. His back must hurt like hell. And I think this is where we get introduced to the bad guy of the game. Nope. But there is a antagonist for lack of a better word. Um, I don't think I'd call them an antagonist, really, because I don't think I don't think they can even hurt you. Can I like? Okay, I can't jump on that thing. Ugh. So slow. Ooh, I don't know if I got this before. Found the Genesis code. The code is creation. Fill in the complete code for bonus content. Ooh. Like, that's cool that the game does that, but. Uh, and that's. Look at this. Look at this. How am I. Besides looking at the sand and dust. How was I supposed to know that's where I was supposed to go? Oh, and there's more rats now. Wonderful. So it is a lot of going back and forth, especially at the early game. Um, it's really all this does Adam, is. The found oh. something. Are you listening? Ah, uh, sure. I. There's that hissing sound again. Now I heard it too. Probably radio static. Nothing to worry or the about. the darkness. Sounds frightful. You're supposed frightful. to be the hero, remember? Anyway, here's the professor. I have translated some of the inscriptions. Can I have some bad news? I love that the professor is always yelling. Mankind from ever returning to Eden. Always. A giant leap for mankind is only a small step oh, for God. our adventure. Danger trembles when it hears my name. Yes, 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 we got the point. Just get Seriously, on with like, it. they went so far, and then they try to cover everything up, but it doesn't work at all. 
just makes it more aggravating and annoying. Like, I got this game, and like, cause, because I heard it was so terrible. Just get on with uh, me, but... Sense. Why I stay with these Clairvaux guys is beyond me. Of course, they're paying for all of this, but still. I know I have to go there. I probably even have to set it on fire. Can I go up there? Why not? I mean, he can very clearly reach it. Yep. Let's just set part of the Garden, on Eden, Garden of Eden on fire. Yep. Like you do. Okay, so there are puzzles in this game. Um, Evelyn, are you there? Here's the darkness. Evelyn, hello. About to come up once Adam, we finish this. Can you hear me? There's a lot of interference. There we go. I think the interference is here in the room. Something is hitting it. Something is wrong. What kind of thing? Bats? If it was no, bats, he would have said sort of bats. Of, uh, Don't be such something. a nagging. I'm not a you know what. what? Well, whatever it is, try to get out of there. Maybe we shouldn't have sent him in there in the first place. He obviously has no mental capacity. So these are the puzzles of the game. Which, let's be honest. If you have any knowledge of, like, Bible verses at all, it's easy. Easy as can be. Um, you can die at this point by going into one of the wrong. So, like, say, like, the first time I played this, I totally thought that we had to go through each and every one of these. Oops, I don't want to go through that one because I want to show you guys death. Um, I totally thought I had to clear out each of these in turn. And that's what happens. And then you come back and everything is fine. You don't even have to solve the puzzle again. It's just no penalty at all. Oh no. And I'm not gonna make the joke because I think he does. By choosing love, it seems I've outsmarted oh. that black thing for now. Hey now. Love. How romantic. I was gonna say something about the power of love. Okay. It would have been a little bit better. And seriously, how clueless can you be? Ooh, faith, hope, love. I got an achievement. Oh boy. Ooh, there's something else here? Oh. Apparently I can just continuously open this. That's good. That is great game design. And then there's these. Which I don't like. Because I suck at these. Um, but this one's pretty easy. Yep. Um... Okay, so this needs to be eight. Um, it's basically a Sudoku, only terrible. I mean, I'm not a huge Sudoku person anyways, and I know I'm going the more troublesome route, but it's just not efficient. I think I can just do Oh god, is it really this easy? Yep. <sighs> and I got Evelyn? Hello. There's more good news. I found the first missing puzzle piece. What so, puzzle piece? then we're on the right track. Try to find another 6 pieces quickly, will pieces? you? Oh, I'm getting hungry. <sighs> and of course, uh, no. I'm I'm just not going to go there. <sighs> can I ignite this? I can. Oh. 
seriously? I mean, I know I don't want all puzzles in all games to just be ridiculous hard, but clicking on the only thing you are able to interact with in the entire new area, does that really count as, you know, like, should that... It's locked. No way. It's locked? Oh no. Okay. Everything can distract you. Look beyond the mortal world. Everything can distract you. I actually don't know this one. Take the leap of faith. Everything can distract you. Look beyond the more. I honestly have no idea. Take a leap of faith. Everything can distract you. Wait, no, okay. Look beyond the mortal world. Ah, oh, I wanted that. And there's no back button. Okay, take... Okay. Look... Let's go with look beyond the mortal world. Take the leap of faith. Everything... Look beyond the mortal world. Okay, and if I don't get this, this is probably where I'll be ending the video. Yep, I don't know. Well, that didn't work. I know it didn't. But, this is pretty... Pretty much the perfect... Like, example of the game. You'll get... I can't I ignite that. Yep, I need fire. Okay. But yeah, so this is a great, like, look at the game because this is all the game is. There's nothing, there's nothing innovative about this game. In the hour, like, hour plus I've played, there's nothing that's made me go, hey, this is cool. Um, if you have any interest, like, if you, if you're one of people like me who just, like, enjoys playing crappy games, um... I enjoy playing them less when I talk about them, just because I actually realize how much I hate them. But I still really, like, enjoy terrible games, so... I'll keep be doing some more. Um, I'll also be doing some really cool, really fun games as well. So it won't all be terrible, but... Yep, this has been... Adam's Venture. Makes me sad to be an Adam, but... Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a good one. Adios.